How do I 28M mend a relationship with my future sister-in-law 15F after she accused me of sexually harassing her in front of my fiancé, 27F, my fiancé, 27F, and I, 28M, have been together for 8 years, dating for 7 years, engaged for 1. Thanks to Covid, we lost half our income and we decided to move into her parents guest house to cut down on expenses. I regret that decision. One day back in June, while making dinner for my fiancé and I, her younger sister 15F stops by to hang out. Without warning, she looks at me and says, Op, stop sexually harassing me. I am so dumbfounded. Confused, I questioned what she was saying. She repeats herself, Op, stop sexually harassing me. I am so astonished and the only thing I could do was ask how. She doesn't explain anything and she leaves. I'm still standing in the kitchen wondering what the hell just happened and why she would say that. I've known this girl since she's 7 years old. Every time my fiancé and I had plans, I made sure to include her, only if my fiancé was willing to, whether it be the movies, county fairs, etc. I took her to her dance competitions, picked her up from her extracurricular activities and even dropped her off to hang out with her friends. I treated her like the younger sister I've never had. We've had no physical contact and I would never ever betray the trust of my partner nor her family. To be accused of something so horrific is absolutely devastating. I discussed this issue with my fiancé about a week after the incident occurred. I assumed that she heard the whole conversation because she was sitting at the kitchen table, two feet apart from us. She claims that she didn't hear her sister say anything like that and that she would have spoken to her sister sooner. Any advice on salvaging this relationship with my future sis-in-law? Is it even worth saving? I'm extremely hurt that I would even be accused of something like this. Too long didn't read, future sis-in-law accuses me of sexually harassing her in front of fiancé. Fiancé doesn't say anything about it until a week later. Is there a relationship worth saving? Update, sorry. Sorry, it's been a while. I finally got a job and have been working and trying my best to keep my mind in an okay space. For those who offered advice, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Reading through these comments have made me consider a lot of things. For those who think that this is some karma grab, holy smokes. It isn't a karma grab and this really did happen. Thanks to my new job, I will finally have benefits and I will be seeking a therapist. I've realized that this isn't something I can just bury. It doesn't work that way. It'll only get worse if left unaddressed. I've spoken to my fiancé and I decided that it was best for me to just move out alone. I'm staying with a good friend of mine and he and his wife are the only ones that know of this event. I haven't told anyone else within my circle nor family. Yes, this may strain the relationship we have but I need to do what is best for me. Most of you were right. How can someone who says they support and love me not defend me or offer any kind of help? I get that it's her sister but I am the one who's hurting. Anyways, this is another issue on its own. But with all sincerity, I thank you all for listening slash reading and offering me advice. I really do appreciate it. Don't be alone with her anymore. If she questions why you don't have a close relationship anymore tell her that actions have consequences. You don't. Distance yourself lest it influence your own relationship in a bad way. I would have your fiancé talk to her first and go from there. Maybe you said something that she interpreted as sexual and it's not even on your radar. Or it was a shitty joke. Either way you would clearly feel better if you got to the bottom of it. My fiancé spoke with her and she said claims she doesn't know what sexual harassment is. Funny thing, that was the conversation she was having prior to this incident. It's been 4 months. If she really said what you think she said, wouldn't the relationship have been affected in some way already? You say you want to save the relationship, but you don't describe anything that's been lost. If nothing's changed, take I misheard something for an answer here, and get out of your head. Yeah. A lot of this story isn't making sense. If the fiancé was right there when it happened, how didn't she hear the conversation? Did Op not talk to his fiancé immediately after it happened, to ask her what the hell just happened? He doesn't mention what they were talking about either prior to her saying he was sexually harassing her. What did he say? Could it have been mistaken for sexual harassment, even if it was completely innocent? Did she misunderstand him? Eyes up asking what do do now, over four months later. He 
he doesn't say how the relationship has changed, if at all. Very strange. Makes me think this is a fake post. I would let your fiancé talk to her first and see if she can find out what her sister considered sexual harassment if anything. Teenagers can be odd and there may be a couple of reasons she did this. 1. She was trying to joke with you in very poor taste. 2. She wanted some type of attention. Or a third possibility. I'm not sure of any conversation or actions taken during this time so it's possible you said or did something maybe unintentionally that made her feel this way. Either way I would say to just distance yourself from her until you and your fiancé can at least get an idea as to why her sister said what she did. Once you know the cause of her accusation you can speak with your fiancé about how to proceed. Good luck cop. I'd invite a third option, which is that maybe she doesn't want her sister to get married, because she thinks that they'll stop involving her or that somehow her life will change when they get married. Either way, this is in extremely poor taste and that girl needs a fucking talk. Red flags, or nah? So I, 18M, asked my girlfriend, 18, this question. If a random girl around our age walked up to me in public, hugged me and whispered in my ear that a creep was following her and if I could pretend to be her boyfriend, she bursted into tears, screamed no and accused me of cheating, even though it hasn't happened, I was just asking. To top it off, she's making me feel bad by asking why not her brother, or cousin? Why does it have to be a boyfriend? Is this a major red flag or not? Question mark. If this was a real situation I would have been mad at you if you didn't pretend to be the boyfriend or whatever to help the girl. I am far from 19 lol. Remembering my younger self I still think this is how I would feel. Most women would do anything to protect another woman who was feeling scared. The only argument for not doing it is if maybe the girl is working with the creepy guy to put you in a position to be robbed. So, if this ever does happen in real life, help the girl but stay in public places. She cried over that? Yes that is a red flag. Are there any other red flags that you have seen? Why did that question even come up? But yeah, not a good reaction on her part. Sign of immaturity. I mean I see both sides. It's a weird question to bring up. Her reaction though was a bit extreme. I'd like to add that you can save the girl without it being a boyfriend scenario. Personally I think instead of pretending to be her boyfriend, or brother, or cousin for that matter, the best way to approach is to start pointing and shouting, this man is following me, can someone help me? What's your problem? To the guy. Causing a scene not only is a fantastic deterrent, especially if you have several people doing it, it's likely to stop him from just moving on to someone else. If a random girl around our age walked up to me in public, hugged me and whispered in my ear that a creep was following her and if I could pretend to be her boyfriend. I'm interested in knowing what type of conversation led to this question. Same, why create a random scenario where you get to be the savior for a damsel? Question mark. I lashed out and called my mom a failure of a mother, which I think is true, but I still regret saying it. Sorry for shit formatting, I'm on mobile. I, 16F, mom and dad met when my mom was 19 and my dad was 22, dated for 3 months, break up, 6 months later mom finds out she's pregnant, dad says he wants proof it's his paternity test, and that was that. They were supposed to have split 50-50 custody, until I was about 7 and my mom decided she didn't wanna be a parent anymore. She left, and I lived with my dad full time. Since everyone else had their moms, I was confused and hurt. I constantly asked my dad if I did anything wrong and was honestly distraught for the first 6 months. My dad and his mom tried to put me in therapy, but since my mom's mom was still in the picture, it didn't quite work. Every time we found someone, they would say something mom's mom didn't like and they got the boot. Eventually we dropped therapy, and my mom came back when I was around 9 or 10. She wants a perfect, back to normal relationship. I was confused, and I said something that pissed her off, that I can't even remember to be honest, and she hit me. Dad walked in, screaming match, she leaves. Six months later they make up, 
I stopped caring and honestly forgot it happened, and then there was visitation. I saw her every Sunday. Eventually she showed up less and less and for the last year I've seen her once a month. She's 35 and honestly acts like a teenager. Even after losing a child, she didn't mature. She's constantly talking shit about family members I've never met, and gets upset when I don't play along. Today she was complaining about her mother. Her mom got hit by a car a few years ago. And from what I understand, she wasn't the best. My mom was on a tirade, and at one point she said I understand I'm not the best mother, but at least I never snorted lines of coke in front of my kids. I told her that didn't set the bar very high. Most people can make that claim. She asked what that meant and I told her most people can say they've never snorted coke in front of children. It escalated really quickly, her calling me fking fg, impansexual, and me saying I wish she died in labor, rather than what was supposed to be my brother. Looking back I wouldn't have gone that far, but it's too late now eek. Eventually I snapped and told her she was a failure of a mother, and that I didn't consider her a parent. Apparently that struck a nerve. I'm not sure why, because that's definitely not the worst thing I said, but she started crying and told me to drive myself home since I hated her so much. I did end up driving myself home. I didn't feel bad at the time, but now I feel kinda guilty. She's confided in me before about her worst insecurity being failing as a parent. Well. She sounds like an utter failure. I'm unclear on if your maternal grandmother died after the car accident. If she didn't, go find a therapist and this time, keep her out of it. You need to find someone who can help you talk through your unresolved hurt and anger about your mom's abandonment and inability to be the stable parent you wanted. Someone who can give you the space to acknowledge her failures but also have compassion for someone who had an unplanned pregnancy when she was little more than a child and ended up emotionally stunted. That is the only way you can move forward to try to have a healthy relationship with her. Otherwise, this will always be between the two of you. I can tell you to apologize and and try and re-establish peace, but this will just be there simmering under the surface unless you deal with it. You told a brutal truth that she needed to hear. You can apologize for peace of mind on your end if you'd like. Let's be clear, she was a failure of a mother and you have every right to feel the way you do. He got upset because you told the truth. She sounds toxic and I personally wouldn't keep her in my life, especially since she keeps walking out of yours, but that's your decision. I do suggest therapy, because how she treated you sounds traumatic. Me saying I wish she died in labor, rather than what was supposed to be my brother. Eventually I snapped and told her she was a failure of a mother, and that I didn't consider her a parent. Jesus we pulling out the big guns. Most people already seemed to help you but I just want to point something out. She's confided in me before about her worst insecurity being failing as a parent. I don't think she cares about failing as a parent I think she cares about people thinking she is a failure as a parent. 